see we are going to see the orthogonality uh, relation for the Bessel function. Before going into the orthogonality, let's see uh, an equation x square d square y by dx square plus x dy by dx k square x square minus n square y equal to 0. This is an equation which can be reduced into the Bessel equation. We know for the Bessel equation this k square will not be there. Okay, but what we have is uh, uh, this equation where we find k square along with uh, uh, x square. So what we do is uh, we uh, put t equal to kx. Okay, we put t equal to kx. Then dt by dx that will be equal to k dy by dx we can write uh, it as dy by dt into dt by dx okay dy by dx can be written as dy by dt into dt by dx dt by dx is k so uh, dy by dx that will be equal to k dy by dt because dt by dx is k Okay, so dy by dx is k dy by dt. Then d square y by uh, d, dx square. So this is our dy by dx, that is k dy by dt. d square y by dx square can be written as d by dx into dy by dx, isn't it? d by dx into or d by dx of dy by dx that is d square y by dx square dy by dx is already k dy by dt okay so uh, we can write uh, this as d by dx of k dy by dt d by dx is d by dt of k dy by dt into dt by dx so what we get is k square d square y by dt square. So we get k square d square y by dt square. So this is our d square y by dx square. So here in this equation for uh, sorry um, for d square y by dx square for dy by dx we substitute this. Okay we substitute this and we get this for now uh, the d square y by dx square for x square i'm writing t square by k square for x i'm writing t by k and then we have k dy by dt then k, kx is t so t square minus n square y that is equal to zero okay so uh, here this uh, k square will get cancelled and we will have t square d square y by dt square t dy by dt plus t square minus n square y that is equal to zero. So jn of t this is exactly Bessel equation the solution of this is jn of t okay and t is you know kx so we arrived at this equation from this this equation okay and the solution is uh, j or j of t that is j n kx okay so solution of this equation is j n kx this is what we want to tell now let's see the orthogonality of the Bessel function. Orthogonality means integral 0 to 1 x 
jn alpha x jn beta x dx that is equal to 0 okay jn alpha x and jn beta x dx that is equal to 0 where alpha and beta are the roots of jn x equal to 0 alpha and beta are the roots of jn x equal to 0 that means jn alpha that is equal to 0 and jn beta that is equal to 0 okay because alpha and beta are the roots of jn x equal to 0 okay so we have to prove this then we uh, have the orthogonality relation proved we know uh, this uh, y equal to jn alpha x and z equal to jn beta x these are solutions of the differential equations equation 1 and equation 2 because here we see uh, Bessel equation where we have this alpha square x square here so the solution of this is y equal to since we are solving for y so y equal to jn alpha x and here as you solve here you have z equal to jn beta x okay now if i multiply equation 1 by uh, z by x i multiply equation 1 by z by x and equation 2 is multiplied by minus y by x okay and we add them so this is what we do we multiply the first equation by z by x second by minus y by x and we add them so as we add you will get this first two terms are this and then we have this alpha square minus beta square x y z equal to 0 now when we look at these two equations this can be written as d by dx of x into z dy by dx minus y z dz by dx you can write it like this okay so uh, we can write like this then the remaining term is alpha square minus beta square x y z equal to 0 okay so we have to actually do the partial integration sorry we have to apply the product rule here you have x d by dx of x then z dy by dx minus y dz by dx okay so we apply the product rule and we get now if the integration uh, of the above this equation we are integrating with respect to x between the limits 0 and 1 then we get um, as we have a d by dx here uh, as we integrate you will be getting x uh, into z dy by dx minus y dz by dx then alpha square minus beta square integral 0 to 1 x y z dx equal to 0 okay so one can write this as if i take this uh, to the other side okay uh, to the uh, to this side or if, uh, if this is taken sorry if this is taken to the other side we have this so uh, beta square minus alpha square integral 0 to 1 x y z dx that is equal to this and when we apply the limits when you put the lower limit the lower limit is 0 so when you put lower limit here for x that will be 0 so we are left with this x sorry z dy by dx minus y dz by dx where x is equal to 1 and we know y is j n alpha x so dy by dx is 
alpha j and prime alpha x so this j and beta x so d z by dx is beta j and prime beta x okay so why is j and alpha x so dy by dx is alpha j and prime alpha x so this j and beta x so dz by dx beta will come out so beta j and prime beta x so this we substitute for dy by dx we have dy by dx so that's we substitute for dz by dx we substitute and we get what c beta square minus alpha square integral 0 to 1 x j n alpha x j n beta x dx that is equal to j n beta x alpha j n prime alpha x j n alpha x minus beta j n prime beta x okay so this is equal to uh, at x equal to 1 see we have to do this at x equal to so when you put x equal to 1, you will have alpha j n prime alpha j n beta minus beta j n prime beta j n alpha. And since the alpha and beta are the roots j n x equal to 0, then j n alpha j n beta that is equal to 0. Okay. So on the right hand side becomes 0. This j n beta 0, j n alpha 0. So right hand side becomes 0. So we have beta square minus alpha square integral 0 to 1 j n alpha x sorry x j n alpha x j n beta x dx that is equal to 0. And if alpha not equal to beta alpha not equal to beta you know alpha is not equal to beta then this will be integral 0 to 1 x raised to j n alpha x j n beta x dx equal to 0. So this is the orthogonality relation. Integral 0 to 1 x, x is the weight factor okay or the weight function, weight factor, weight function. So with respect to the weight factor x, j n alpha x, integral j n alpha x, j n beta x dx that is equal to 0 if alpha and beta are you know different. Now Suppose uh, alpha and beta are same or we want to prove this, see what we have here is integral 0 to 1 x j n alpha x square dx that is equal to half j n prime alpha square, j n prime alpha square. We prove this for using this, we have beta square minus alpha square in the previous derivation there we have seen beta square minus alpha square integral 0 to 1 x j n alpha x j n beta x dx that is equal to alpha j n prime alpha j n beta minus beta j n prime beta j n alpha. Suppose that alpha is the root of equation j n x 0 that means uh, j n alpha is equal to 0 ok j n alpha is equal to 0 now suppose that beta is a neighboring value of alpha which tends to alpha so beta uh, is a neighboring value of alpha which tends to alpha ok so when we apply that limit here we have limit beta tends to alpha integral 0 to 1 x j n alpha x j n beta x dx equal to on the right hand side if I take this to the other side I have alpha j n prime alpha j n beta divided by beta minus alpha beta square minus alpha square here this j n alpha is 0 ok j n alpha is 0 so this term gets can um, this term becomes zero. Now, as uh, uh, we apply the limit, suppose that we apply the limit here, beta tends to alpha. So this will become alpha. This beta will become alpha. 
jn alpha, jn alpha is 0 and on the denominator we have beta square minus alpha square. Okay. Now uh, we apply, um, so this is a 0 by 0 form if we apply the limit. Okay, so we use the L hospitals rule. We use the L hospitals rule. We differentiate both numerator and denominator with respect to uh, beta. So on the numerator, we, have, we will get alpha j n prime alpha j n prime beta. Okay, we are differentiating with respect to beta. So these are all constants, alpha and j n prime alpha are constants. So as we differentiate, we have j n prime beta. And as we apply the limit, we have alpha by 2 alpha j n prime alpha square in the uh, numerator. So we have half j n prime alpha square here, j n prime alpha square here. So integral 0 to 1 x j n prime, sorry j n square alpha x dx. Okay. Since uh, here, how, how do you how do you get j n square alpha x? Alpha becomes beta limit. So integral 0 to 1 x j n square alpha x dx that will be equal to half j n prime alpha square. Okay. So uh, this is what uh, we get. And actually we can combine this integral 0 to 1 x j n alpha x j n beta x dx this is equal to half j n prime alpha square delta alpha beta. If alpha and beta are same, uh, delta alpha beta, that will be equal to 1. Alpha and beta are same. If alpha, alpha not equal to beta, this will be equal to 0. That is the property, property of this delta function. Okay. So we can combine these two like this.